fucking mouth or you will get done for slander. I don't fuck about. How about that? Calm down, Billy. Reach the stage, Rube. <laughs> Giving it verbals, reach the stage. You and me, we've always handled things as men. And all of a sudden, you want to act like a bitch. So let's, let's, let's talk. Of course it's a fake account. He ain't got the love spots. I'm, I, I will go over there, by the way. I will go over there, but I just think that doing the whole going over there one by one if this is if this is supposed to be this big sit down talk here yeah, then the message it shouldn't be rushed why is it suddenly rushed why is it oh out of nowhere nobody consulted with with anybody in the black community yeah who's offended as to where, when what time this meeting's going to be where it's going to be if we're comfortable with where it's going to be who said that's okay that's us yet again. I know it stopped, so it should. That's us yet again. You thinking you can click your fingers and tell us where to go? Yes, a massa. No, fuck no. You're mad. Good evening, Angela. You're right, Devon. Did I? How are we? I, I'm gonna be honest. With you. Please what do. Comment. When you say white, yeah, that's the issue for me. Why does it have to be white, black? Do you know what I mean? It just sounds like, um, do, do you know, you, okay, you, if that makes sense. Hey, Devin, mm -hmm. I just wanted to quickly pop up and say, bro, I ended my life because obviously I weren't holding a one sided life. But if we all want to get, if everyone wants to get together, uh, off the app and talk and about arranging it and having a proper sit down, because obviously we need yeah. to remember that we're. We're the ones that need to be setting these examples to our communities. Then, no, I'm bro, I respect you. Listen, I don't even want to cut you off. I respect you so much, yeah? I respect you so much. I've seen you do work for charity and so on and so forth. Your space is the perfect space. Um, I, listen, I'm, it was no disrespect to you. Obviously, I came in there and then an agenda was whatever, yeah? I'm yeah, yeah, more yeah, than yeah, willing to do that. Like that. That's why this why I ended the life. And like I said, it's a case of when everyone gets together and discusses it and works out a time and a day. And we're, like you said, Wherever's comfortable for you all, then we'll do it. Do you know what I mean? No, bro, I, I completely... Res I don't want you to think that I was coming at you either. Did, did you Google it, by the way? What? Yeah, yeah. Well, bro, I was in the middle of it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll explain it to um, Angie in a minute, but no, I don't mean any disrespect nah, to you nah, or your platform. Like, I'm going to jump down anyway. You can have a chat with Angie anyway, but yeah, I'll speak to you. Yeah, soon. yeah. Keep keep by the phone. It might st it's, it might still go ahead. I'm going to speak to Angie and then we'll, we'll see you. In oh, yeah, no worries. Just shout out, yeah? <laughs> Yeah, love, bro. Yeah, um, can we... Hello, Angie. Can, can you mod me? <laughs> mod me and I'll mod you. I'm your, I'm your bestie. No, nah, no, nah, we're not besties. So go on. But you what are. Do you... Why you are... Don't, don't be like that. You was in my life. I know. I know the narrative that you're trying to do. It's okay. So what? What nah, issue do you have with? Listen, you're saying whatever, yeah. But you know, I always put you in my box. You know, I do that. Of I course you do. With you. I don't have an issue with you, to be honest with you. I have my opinion. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I've always. I, had I've never had an issue with you until today. I'm going to be honest. Well, listen, like I said, I always have empathy for the mental health. You probably don't understand if you heard me because traffic there. But, you know, NJ host understood that. Maybe you don't understand that. Um, mm -mm. I okay, and that. Well, that's fine, but he understood where I was coming from. Um, yeah. But, like I said, well, I've got, like, I've got, I've got my thought now. Um, that's alright, take your time. And that's what I was going to say. I've asked many people to show me the receipts when I have been racist. They, they can still not, they can't do it. I've showed evidence on my side. Um, but, you know, people cannot do that. So, um, to, for, you know, for me to be put on that petition, I've never been racist. I might be a lot of other things, but I've never been racist to the black community, and that's for sure. Um, Does the petition I, have anything to do with me? No, it hasn't. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> Oh, okay. oh, I have nothing to do with you. This is just letting you know it's uh, why I, because I, uh, was, uh, at one point I supported Pearl. Um, you know, all these people, you know, a lot of uh, well, Pagey Baby and all sat in my box since, you know what I mean? I just think it's the hypocrisy on the set when you sat with me. Why would you be sitting with the racist if that's what you suddenly think? Do you know what I mean? And that, I, you know, like I said, today, today, today I changed my mind when... Um, anyway, I, I, I will happily sit down and have a conversation with you one day without the... Uh, chatter of the other noise. I don't know if today's the day. It's up to you. Just because uh, you don't have an opinion the way I do does not make me racist. 
I have an opinion because I do, I can relate to mental health. And, you know, like I said, NJ hosted understand that because I do have the empathy for, um, why do I have to turn my camera on? Someone's you don't have to. Yeah. You don't have to. Um, Carry it, on. I mean, I have the empathy for people's mental health and that's all it is. I don't go in and say what they said either. Do you know what I mean? Do you think that I have, um, do you think I care about mental health? Um, well, you probably do, but what I'm saying is with uh, Zach the Brett, I kind of, um, not that I'm, I don't, listen, I don't know I'm off the app or anything like that, but I just see mm -hmm. a different side to him. Like, I just see a uh, change of character, you know, he's out, you know, he doesn't seem right. I've noticed that for a few days. Uh, it's just, I've noticed it with yourself. You don't always put your face on the camera. I've not seen it. Do you know what I mean? I'm Sorry, not saying I'll, I'll, with mental health. I'm I'll not saying it don't. But unless I know, I, I'm not going to know, am I? Do you know what I mean? And yeah. you know, you know, Zach here, he does have a past. I don't want to be responsible for, send, for pushing someone over the edge. And I think because of that past he has, I feel it's very, very touchy for me. Although I'm not saying mm -hmm. you can't feel the way you're feeling, because you know, I'm not saying that. I just don't want to be yeah. involved in, 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 in having that effect or doing that to somebody on, 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 on here. Do you know what I mean? But you know, when you word it like that, yeah, it makes sense. But earlier on today, like yeah. I said to you, Mm -hmm. When you said when you said um, let's prioritize mental health over yeah. racism, mm -hmm. that is like you know when you said nobody's got receipts for you to be being racist. Yeah. By definition, that is racism because. No, no, no. The thing I'll is, you, to you what I'm trying to say, on. you're jumping on everything I say. You've got to realize people sometimes you, you must you might misunderstand what someone said or it's coming out wrong or you know mm. it's like you don't want to. I don't want to be feeling like, or nobody wants to feel like they're walking on eggshells around someone. Do you know what I mean? Like now, I'm just one of those where it just comes out sometimes so wrong. Okay, now or maybe you've taken it that mm. way. But what I'm just saying, I don't want to be responsible for some to push pushing someone over the edge. And if then to me that would be more important than what someone has said, even racism, because I don't want to be involved or you know or or ha you know or how would I sleep? Do, do you know what I mean? If I was to be involved in some something like that happening to someone, and that's all I meant okay. by that. But like I said, right. sometimes it just comes out wrong. You know what I mean? Right, but and all, all I'll say back in reply to you is this: Yeah, I watched, um, I watched Miss Remy cry on 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 live today. I've watched over ten black women cry today. Uh, so, do you think that that is? Wh why do you think that that is? Listen, I'm not saying yes, and I'm not saying right um, that it hasn't affected their mental health. I'm not saying that, but I'm just looking at sex history. You know, and if, if you know what I know, I don't know if you do, because it, it did go live, then you'd maybe understand yeah. a little bit more. You know, I'm not talking about someone that's just, that's crying, even though I don't, I think it's, you know, it's sad if they're crying over that. Yeah. They've been triggered, right? But, uh, I yeah. think there's a different kind of level of mental health, different levels. And I think his, his level of mental health is, could be on the edge. You, do you get what I'm saying? Where it could do something silly, and that's what I'm afraid of. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But does mental point. does mental health result in you say? Let me tell you this. I know a lot of people that suffer from mental health. There's yeah. a lot of people on this app that suffer from mental health. And do you know when it goes sideways and it goes left, when those mm. people drink. Yeah. When those yeah, people drink. Mhm. Mm mhm. Because because he did something stupid. There's accountability. Okay. Yeah. I have all the sympathy in the world. Yeah. For. Zach Dabrat's mental health, regardless yeah. of even what he said, nobody wants anybody to do anything to themselves. Mm -hmm. But there's something called accountability. You've hurt um, a lot of people and I'm it feels like, not, not, not you personally, yeah. but it feels like when you defend that, yeah. you're, you're ignoring everybody else's pain. Yeah. yeah. And that comes across as yeah. favoritism. Favoritism is part of racism. It, it means that you look doing? down. Mm -hmm. Go on. You know no, what you on. didn't see? You probably didn't see this because I don't think anyone played it. I don't think it's on FYP when he came in uh, with me on, on Corey, yeah? And he said that, you know, he felt he's being bullied. Um, you know, he'd, he's talking about his SH. You know, I saw it. I saw yeah, it. I okay. Well, I've seen, you know, I haven't been watching watching them, but I have watched them, you know, on and off. He did not look like in a, a good place at all, right? So I just felt, you know, I'm just one of those that, you know, even though he said something wrong, yes, he needs to take accountability. I'm not say, taking how you feel away, right? He needs to definitely take accountability, 100%. But, you know, what to, it's like, a, it's like, I don't like witch hunts, yeah? I don't like any of that. 
you know, um, I, I just don't like it because I think, you know, why kick a man when, when, he's, when he's down? I just thought maybe it wasn't the right time, you know, maybe yeah. we could have left it another day. I don't know what's right and what's wrong in this situation. So you, you know the definition of a witch hunt, Angie, is, is, is somebody who is innocent and who is being accused of something. Yeah. Zach the Brat is not innocent. This is not a witch hunt. This is people being upset and angry at yeah. a terminology that is not acceptable. That's not a witch hunt. Either, but you've also got people that, you know, just having a, an opinion because they don't like the man, do you know what I mean? And every, every opportunity from in the bus, I, I don't like that. You know what I mean? But I totally get understand. I'm not taking your feelings away from you. If, you know, it's, you know, but you've got to remember, you know, listen, it's social media and it's, um, you know, people have said far worse you know what i mean we need to like not pick and choose we should we shouldn't have selective outrage either do you know what i mean and you know like the petition there's only four people on there but we're cla court you know there's so many other people that have been racist you know why weren't they on that petition let's not pick and choose you know what i mean katie b who said the worst she said the n-word where was her where was uh everyone asked for anything for her so, so basically, you're upset about being on the petition, aren't you? No, 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 no. it's not about that. I'm trying to explain to you. What, I mean, what about everyone else? What about that, uh, KEB, I think? She said the N-word. Where was everyone's energy for her? You know, we can't select people because that has got a big platform. Oh, let's pick on him. He's got a big platform. What about other people that have said the, the same thing? Do you know what I mean? So, and so can, I explain why it's not, can I explain why it's not select? It's not select. It's an accumulation. So every single time these people that you speak of haven't been held to account and everyone's just ignored it and moved on, people are fucked off and people are angry. So now, as a result of that, as a result of nobody doing anything about it, somebody's put a petition out that you guys don't like, that you're oh, quite I'm clearly not, scared of. I'm not of. bothered about it. I thought it was funny. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I don't know why I'm in it. I'm, I did a petition myself. It was a laugh. To me, it was banter, you know, what I did. But I thought it was ridiculous, you know, when you've missed uh, quite a lot of people off. You know, there's no way I've been racist towards the black community. You know, I keep saying over and over again, show me the evidence and I have put my hands up. But I'm not putting my hands up to something that I have not done. So um, I don't really mm. give a shit too much about that petition, Devon. I really don't. It's just pathetic. And, you know, the reason why okay. I'm on it is because of people's dislike for me. And that's all it is. Now, and like when you was in with Pagey Baby and um, Torian and all that, all I heard was me and Pearl, me and Pearl, me and Pearl. Well, mainly, mainly me, actually. I, I don't know if it's because I was camp doing it. And I just, and I thought to myself, oh, okay, why has it gone back to us? It's just weird. So I think that the, the conversation amongst the, the creators is a good idea. I think No Faces platform is fine. Uh, will you be in attendance? Well, yeah, but I, I, I mean, I was just going to say, I don't think it is a good idea because there's going to be a big row. Can you imagine? You know what I mean? Everyone trying to, you know, speak unless you do a showtime or something. I don't know. But it's going to just make me people more angry, I, I, I think. You know what I mean? I don't know. I feel like we're grown ups. I feel like we're grown ups and I think that it needs to happen because each, like I said, each one of these things that has happened has just mm. been smoothed over and ignored. And that's why that petition exists. I, I didn't create it. Um, but I said it's people are angry and frustrated. And when yeah. you when your people like yourself come on and support the person that has hurt us, that's where the animosity comes from. Yeah, but you've got to remember, I don't condone that it's at all, you know what I mean? But like I said, um, mm. I just see him in a really bad place and I don't want to be responsible. I'm not going to be responsible for kicking a man when he's down at that time. I'm not saying he shouldn't take accountability, not at all. But I, I know his past and, you know, I, I want to sleep at night. I don't want to be involved in doing, in doing anything to someone. Do you get what I'm saying? Because I can relate. So it's yeah. not... I, not exactly. Not I, exactly. You can relate. I, 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 I asked you to, to Google unconscious bias, right? Because that's what this is in play. You, you no, relate more to I Zach. I, no, listen. Who, who, I understand who, you relate more. Dark place. Being in a dark place. No, forget the racism for a sec. I can relate to him being in a dark place. You know, the mental health side of it. Nothing else. I don't condone any of the rest, yeah? What I'm saying is I don't want to be involved in waking up one night, one morning, and something happening to someone where they've done something to themselves and it's because of my life mm. or because I've said something that pushed him over the edge over an app, even though, yes, he did say something wrong. I don't care. I don't want to be involved in, in doing that to anyone. Do you understand? 
I'm not saying that you yes. can't. I'm not saying you can't, though. You know what I mean? So if uh, if one day, yeah, I'm on the edge and I feel like, you know, the, your, the comments have got to me and I'm a washed up actor and I'm really at my you edge. Am I Am I allowed, can I ask you a question? Am I allowed to scream homophobic things at the top of my lungs no, and then you guys that. will want to hug me? I'm not saying you that. You wouldn't. No, no, we did speak about it. I made it quite you clear. I, listen, but I had my opinions. <coughs> I had people to say that, oh, I don't like Zach. I'm colored. You have not biased when my wife this, uh, this morning. I wasn't, Devin. You can't say I was. Oh, you didn't like my opinion. I understand that. But I had other people voicing their opinions about Zach. It was two sides, you know. So, but I didn't want to keep push, push. I didn't want to just push him. But we did have our, all our, have our opinions, Devin. I don't condone what he said. I really, really don't. You know, and, I, and it's sad that it's a, you know that you are affected by what he said, you know, by what someone else has said now, because it seems like the domino effect. You know what I mean? That it's kind mm. of like on a regular basis now, and you, no one should be putting up with racism, especially in two thousand and twenty-four. I understand. But you could have you could have start you could have started with that in the morning. But instead, what you started you know what? with was... I was so affected. I'm not going to lie. I was so affected by last night seeing him in this way. I was scared. You know what? I kept going to say... I don't know if you watched my live, but I was saying to people, someone go, please, someone phone up him. For, and I, I didn't even know what he had said at this point. Oh, someone go to him, please, someone phone him. Oh, my God. People were you know, saying stuff in the comments. I was like, oh, my God, where's he gone? Someone needs to... You know, do you know what I mean? It was, it was a worrying time for a lot of people. Do you know what I mean? Okay, so what if we say, right... We'll give we'll give this a week to make sure that that Zach the brat is fine. No one will talk about him. Is he going to be held to account after that? Oh, I, I think you know the fact that we are firing up lives. I did fire up live. I could have just not done it, Devin. I did fire. Up, so I, when you say counter to take it, what what do you want to happen next? Because we I fired up the live. You fired up live. Other people fired up lives. So what what do you want to happen now? Now. <laughs> I mean, no, no, I'm, I, asking, uh, I'm asking. I'm not being sarcastic. I'm, I'm just asking. What's the resolution? Uh, the resolution is that people don't don't take our pain, and it gets acknowledged. It, it, what what was happening also? Uh, Dave Duran, I'll call his name. He even today said, "Why is it, well, why is everyone talking about the racism? Let's put that to one side and let's talk about the ableism." Now I'm here for the ableism. Day two have every single right and I welcome anybody with a disability mm. to come up to my stage and also express how sickened you are by the whole thing. To be yeah? fair, I thought the racism was worse. It's not, it's not oppression Olympics. It's no, both it's disgusting. Not. It's, not it's both like, disgusting. Listen, you gotta, you can get, listen, get a grip, guys. Get a grip on TikTok, right? Now, I'm not saying that word spastic. I will say it just so people know what I'm talking about, okay? Why do you need to, why do you need to say it? Oh. Oh, well, because people won't know what I'm talking about. I'm not calling anyone that. It's, do, you, do you know that's what they, they, it's used to be, they use in the 80s mm. and 90s a lot, yeah? Do you know how many people have actually said it off TikTok? Oh, stop being a or whatever. You know, I don't, it's mm. not that deep, it really isn't. You know, if you're triggered or affected by that word, then heaven forbid what you, you know, because you know, the shit that people come out of, oh, yeah, get off TikTok, you know, because, you, you know, then you're, you're too sensitive to TikTok. For TikTok. I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying it, but people said what far worse than that, man. So when you say get off TikTok, you're too sensitive for TikTok. You know um, the mental health mm. people like yourself and Zach, who everyone worries about. Mm. Why is it okay for you to say for us to get off TikTok if we're so triggered? I'm not like, saying about you're that. allowed to stay on TikTok. You see how you twist things. Why, why, why are you guys allowed to stay on TikTok if you're okay. triggered to SH or something like that? Yeah, Doesn't it mean that you should that. get off TikTok I'm not as well? That. Look at the trolls. And like, not in the comment. I can't see the comments. I've turned mine off. But you know, look at what the trolls say. Look what other people say. I, I'm not listening to mine. Don't that word, right? I don't. I'm not I'm saying not it's not offensive. Man. I'm not saying it's, it's right to say it, but it's it's not it's not that deep either. You know, and I, you know, if someone's affected, it's by not that deep for you, Angie. Oh. Angie, you know, it's not that deep for you because you are ab you're able-bodied. There are some people that that live their entire lives that have had that hold at them in school. I heard a I heard a woman today. Uh, I can't remember what live it was. I think it might have been Alex Brigham's, and she came up, and she wasn't even to, able to get her words out because of that that word that she'd she'd had all her life you don't understand it because you, we're able-bodied we can see we you can walk we can run 
just a word for disability. It's also a word to call someone a fool or stupid. Do you know what I mean? There's other word, meanings for that word. And all I'm saying is that word isn't as, as deep. I can understand people being affected, but I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't think it's that deep where someone's actually come on into a box crying their eyes out and it's affected their mental work, health over that word. I, unless they've been called it personally. If they've not been called it personally, I don't think but well, what Zach said, they, and them coming up in a box, uh, tearful, um, has affected them the way they have said it is. No, I don't believe it. Don't. You don't believe it? I watched it. I watched the woman. Like, I'm an actor. I can tell when people are lying and when they're telling the truth, yeah? That, that, that woman was hurt. Yeah, that's triggered her because she's she's been caught up personally, I suppose. It's brought back memories. You get me saying? And that's sad. But you know what? There's always going to be something that triggers someone on here. You know, you can't say anything. You know, there's always going to be something that, you know, I say say something that's not even not offensive and it's, it's, it's going to trigger someone. People love to be triggered. And that's it. And the people love it. They love to be affected. And that's the truth. So can I ask you a question, Angie? You know, when people were put in, and I don't, I don't agree with this at all, but I, it's an example that needs to be brought up. When people constantly use the horrible broccoli symbol and they yeah. say broccoli to you, uh, does that tr does that not trigger you? Well, that, the thing is, that that's sending it. That's is sending that okay? It. Okay, look, can I reply? That's actually giving me of that message correctly to me. That's saying it to me. Zach never did that. Zach was <laughs> talking, uh, saying that he's saying it as to an idiot. He hasn't even caught anybody that. You understand? You never called that to anybody. He was just saying, that's what I use for, you're an idiot, you're a fool. Gracie admitted she has said that word also. Did you get what I'm saying? But this is like, uh, this is directly at you. Unless, unless Gracie is God, unless Gracie is a higher power, I don't care if Gracie thinks that it's okay. Tell it to somebody with a disability that was mm -hmm. called it in school and it triggers you can't decide what is hurtful to other people angie in the same way that like you know what I so it's, I, so it's okay because i'm not condoning one sec i'm not condoning you i understand but yeah even when i have a drink right okay a drink of alcohol i've affected someone you know why because they've said oh my god my mum was an alcohol i've had per one person come and crying her eyes out being i'm affected because you, you know and that was i hadn't even got drunk you know i had one my first glass i've been affected because my mum was an alcoholic you know what i mean there's always gonna be something that someone's uh, offended by i'm not saying that word is okay. directed at anybody either Oh, I don't know. I, I think that the uh, no, but it's social media. Mm. People just need to move on, you know, and I'm um, not take, you know, not. I, I just, that word. Hmm. I feel like you need to hold the same energy. Then, when when people are, when you're at your lowest, and people are trying to wind you up and stuff like that. Yeah, I'll remember I remember this lack of empathy. Between mocking someone's mental health, mocking something, mocking this and mocking that, and and Zach saying it and, and, and like not actually call, he wasn't calling anyone, and he didn't say that directly to anybody. He was just saying saying he sometimes uses that as you're an idiot, you're a fool. I'm not gonna lie, I've not, I've not said it. I have said it in the past, yes, um, but I, I, he didn't direct it at anybody, and I think there's a, that's a difference. I don't yeah, know what you want to, to say. I know, I just, 2024, 80s and 90s, it used to be used quite a lot. I'm not saying it's right, but I'm just saying people are going to be affected by everything. Can I ask you a question, Angie? Because uh -huh. it will help you to understand. What is your definition of racism? What do you mean my definition of racism? What, what do you think that racism is? What well, do I think racism How, is? If you had to describe it to someone, what is racism? I describe it was someone that was um, listen. A black person be racist against uh, towards a white person. I think what you said about the uh, was it today? I it sounded racist to me. I'm not going to lie. Right. Well, my, that wasn't my question. Yeah. Uh, well, if you were, if you were to describe against someone's color, and and you think it's as simple as that? No, I don't think it's as simple as that. Is it? Okay, and I'm I'm asking you for a reason because you're asking to bring receipts as to what mm -hmm. is racist and what isn't racist so i need to know what your definition is so that i can explain to you why i feel certain things People that you've done as racist I mean, racism is against someone you know it's, it's not like someone because of the color of their skin and, okay. and you think that's all it is no well, uh, listen there's a lot more to it but i think sometimes someone can see racism when there's no racism like for example what i said about the boat i just happen to say a boat that does not mean make me a racist do you understand do you know what i mean it's it's so it's so hard. You know, it's, 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 it's racism that wasn't there basically. 
but you don't know what you've you've, 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 you've displayed the fact you've displayed the fact yeah that you don't even know what racism is so therefore you're oh not God, equipped God. to tell people because you don't know the meaning of the word angie and i mean this with the most respect it's very hard to have a conversation with someone telling people that something's not racist when well, they I'm don't know what it means all day. like i said racism it could be you know you've got discrimination racism racism against the community but you know you are, uh, the black community is a minority yeah and it's also antagonizing it's also no, antagonizing behavior in the definition part of that is antagonizing behavior do you, be, you believe that you can be antagonistic sometimes no Oh my God, you have, you have people of color often coming to you and telling yeah. you that you've hurt them. Yeah, that is the antagonistic Why behavior. Hurt them? By what? Why, by what? Tell me from, by what I've said. There have been so many instances, no. Angie. When I came to you, yeah, and we were cool, and, and you and Dave Durand were playing your prank and you put the orange makeup on your face. I you came to you very calmly. Right now. This is where exactly is my point, Devin. This is one I, example. You need to educate yourself a little bit, Devin, as well. Let me tell you why, okay? Uh, <laughs> I yeah, really I, don't. I, I did a deal with Dave Duran. There was no racism in the vault, but you saw racism that was not there. It was pink lipstick. There's not, I was not thinking, oh my God, this looks like a black face. Neither was Dave. It was a deer. That's all it was. The, the Correct. But when? Was worse than the but when? One. But when black people came up to you and said, ah, oh, we perceive it to be that way, rather than take that on board and say, hey, I'm sorry, this was a mistake. You yeah. said, this is not racism. This is blah, blah, blah. That's Listen, antagonistic. Let me, no, it's, okay, Devon, let me tell you something, right? Okay, if I said that the, uh, the sky was blue, you, you'd, you'd call me a racist, okay? <laughs> Where are you getting that from? Okay, one basic bad example. <laughs> one basically saying is you're seeing racism that's not there. Yeah, that's 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 a problem. And there is such things as race card. And you, you don't know what racism is. Uh, Devin, that's, that's the problem. You know what, Devin? What I'm saying is you use you use the race card on that day when I had that that lipstick on my face. You did. And there is Angie? a such thing as a race card, by the way, Devin. Is there? Yes. Who, who, who founded that? Where did that come from? Where did that terminology come from? Oh, here we the go. race card. What I'm saying, Devin, you're seeing <laughs> something that's not there. It's like putting on eggshells. I put, I, put, I put red lipstick on, you'll probably still say it's racist. I put green lipstick on, you'll probably say it's racist. It's not your, it's like you, you do use a race card because you're seeing racism that's not there. And I understand maybe it's because uh, of the experience you've, da you've, you've had to deal with daily. I understand that. Yeah. You've got to think about the intent of your mind. It means everything. Just because I said boat, yeah, it does not mean I'm being racist because I said a w the word boat. Do you understand? Just because I put pink lipstick on does not mean my intention was to be racist. And that is so no. important is the intention behind it. Some people could mm. say things. And because you've had that trauma, and I don't know if that's the right word, trauma, or you've had that, you know, daily experience of racism, you, you, you're seeing things that are not there all the time. Do you understand? Did you get what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Uh, what you're saying makes sense, but it's it's incorrect. I think like what well, real racism is it, by definition. I know that's how, and that's the problem. How you see things is not necessarily the truth, Angie. You're you're one woman. There's uh, there's <laughs> there's many other people, and words have meanings and definitions. And racism has a definition. And unfortunately, you might not like it, right? But by definition, today. You were racist. Oh, no, Devin, you were racist. I'm, I'm going to go now. Thank you. Because I, I just, of course. You know, maybe... Have a you nice... Were, you have a nice yeah, evening. Well, and we have experienced a traumatic event or, day, you know, daily experience of racism. I do understand it, but I, bring, I think you're bringing your trauma or daily experience to TikTok. I really do. So I'm going I'm gonna okay. to go. See you later. You, you, you have a nice evening. Bye-bye, yeah, Angela. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Um, I think... Uh, sorry, I haven't looked at this comment section once, but I think that we have learned a lot. Um, it, it doesn't have to be every day, like, screaming in each other's faces. I think that we learned something today very quickly. If you can't define racism, if you don't know the meaning of the word racism, you have no right, no right to tell people that they're using the race card because if you can't define it, you have no right to tell anybody that they are wrong in regards to it. Um, I handled that in the best way that I think that I could. I hope that it was enlightening. I'm going to let some people up. Uh, I don't know how I feel right now. <clears throat> right. 
I was I was gonna speak to Angie about the. Uh... I know, I know, I know, but like that's where <laughs> things. You you know where it is. I had to ignore all my requests because a lot yeah. of the time, when people come up, I would prefer a one on one because that's the the most yeah. clear conversation that has I think gone on in this app for a while, and I, I would rather they just reveal themselves than have yeah. a slanging match and people start cussing her out. Um, yeah. I'm just questioning this whole, like, it means stupid. It means a silly person. It's like, no, it, it really isn't. I apologise to anybody who suffers, um, not even suffers, who lives with a disability. Um, yep. Top boy, man. You, you don't deserve that at all as well. I think people, Sorry, I don't know on. where this whole like oh, it, it comes from, like meaning that someone's silly or stupid. Like, it's not. It is directly. It is ableist, and it is directly against um people that they refer to as like oh, mentally disabled um because they had conditions like a spasticity, yeah. the um spasms of the muscles and uncontrollable muscles. This led people to believe that they were also mentally disabled. And it became a term to insult people, and it's something that I was I was in a wheelchair before. Um, I am disabled. I've been disabled for the majority of my life, and I have had these things made. Um, yeah. And it's just like you know, I get I I, I did argue. Um, we obviously like I do as a disabled woman. I don't agree with that. Um, Zach saying that at all. Um, but yeah. the main point was, um, to me, what he had said about black people and the terminology that he used and the fact that he said to burn black people yeah. in the worst way is that needs to be addressed more urgently you know, in this situation. But no do, you know what I'm really sh- do you know what I'm really struggling with at the minute, guys, is, and it comments as well, they are now clinging to a recording where I said white spaces. Like I I teach I I teach on the subject of, of of racism. White space is not offensive. It just means a predominantly white space on the like Google is free. Somebody said they Googled it and that's not the meaning. Google black space. It's not racist. I could have said a black space and no one would have said anything. Just Google it. Yeah, Somebody no, said it's, it is it's offensive. A, it's common sense. Oh my god! It's 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 the clutching at straws. Like don't don't put. Okay, here's something I'm gonna say. Yeah, stop putting weird things on my name because that is slander, and I'm not the type of person to be slandered. I will I will release my own recording to the world. Nobody will say it. It's racist. You're so uneducated. <laughs> so uneducated. Sorry. I'll bring up more people. Carry on, guys. This is your space. <sighs> what you said wasn't racist, and that's coming from a person as well. I'm just clearing that up. What? Literal, like, terminology, internet terminology, they don't know. They just love spinning the narrative and trying to make someone out to be what they ain't. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you, brother. I respect it. That was hard work, man. <laughs> this is this is honestly, Devin. You know how obviously the theatre do like um, like black only like week, so that it is literally so that black actors actually get their moment. And like you've got all of these with all the white people that are sitting there going, "Oh, but no white people. How dare they get to do that?" But white people do get to go and see it. It's just allowing black directors, black actors, because there's so much whitewashing in Hollywood and in theater. Like th- this is the type of people. And again, I don't know how many times we need to say it as a white person, you cannot be racist towards a white person. You can be discriminating against, but we have never ever had our skin color make us feel, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh my God, what's the word? It's press, that's the word, sorry. <laughs> Oppressed. Um, I think you do a Hello. really good job, Devin, in um, trying to explain. I tried to 
keep it. Uh, I tried to not react in the way that yeah, people you, you want uh, me to react. You weren't abusive or offensive. You, um, you had a proper conversation and it was good. Yeah. Hi, Debbie. But, you listen to her. Like, you listen to her. You listen to her. Though, and that was good. You didn't attack her. Of course. Yeah. Like that's what this space is always going to be. Yeah, Everyone can have their say, what regardless. I people, you see, if you're shouting and screaming at people and screaming amongst each other, nobody hears anything. I just wanted to come yeah. up just to say that. The, the, the lack of education on this subject on this app is, is absolutely driving me mad. The, the fact that yeah, people it is saying, me as well. It is me. People are saying that you can be racist to a white person when they don't. People don't even understand how race, the hierarchy of race, was created. Yeah. In, you know, in, in the fourteen yeah. hundreds, a white Portuguese man wow. literally defined the the. the the concept of blackness and then the concept of whiteness to justify chattel slavery. And this is what created oh, the hierarchy wow. of race. And this is Thank you, Kathy. Wow. And this is and <laughs> Sorry, this is well. how we it's it's a social construct which began then and has has, has gone all around the world and is yeah. this is what we live under now. It's a, it's a socially constructed um, system where the white white supremacy is the highest and anyone not white is oppressed and that's yeah. what we live under now even in india even in <laughs> india that's where the word caste come from it's, and exactly it, and it's even in india the 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 bleaching the skin and everything and if you if you're dark in india um you're then classed as you low, lower class because you work on the streets because obviously you're darker and you the sun gets you but yeah it's uh it, it's terrible and and colonization has done that as well exactly we colonized yeah. and we we forced yeah. our, well, our language you know and our well we haven't we we stole, stole everything we our the Bible down everybody's throat around the exactly world. we're yeah. indoctrinated you... with, the, with the ways that we think because of the media do you know how refreshing we spill, spill the way that we, <laughs> the things that we you know we're, we're told the way that yeah. we think the way the things that we believe we're indoctrinated we're, we're inherently racist because we, we don't realize and yeah. this is our white privilege we walk through life with white privilege, we don't realise because we don't have to live these things. Well, well, Yardy was saying, somebody called Yardy was saying in Pages Live that um, he just keeps away from it so it don't affect him. But I, d I don't feel that should be the case. I feel like, that, like what Devin's doing, I feel like people need educating. The Observer, providing you with the latest TikTok drama from across the UK.